Hello, and today I am going to talk to you about The Vine Basket by Josanne Lavalli. Ever since her older brother left, Marigold has had to accompany her father to market, which means no more school for her. She misses school, and she misses her brother even more. Then, an American lady sees a vine basket that she made and buys it for a lot of money. She promises to return in a month and buy any more baskets Marigold can make. Marigold thinks that this is her lucky break. But when the local authorities realize that she's no longer in school, they threaten to take her away from her family and send her to work in a factory. So this book um, is a book that takes you to another place and lets you see what the lives are like of other people. It's a great window into a life of another person. And so Marigold is a member of this minority group in China called the Uyghur people. And they are being persecuted by the Chinese government they're part of a religious minority, they're Muslim, um, in a country that is mostly not in China. And right now in the news, you can read the headlines of how these people are being treated. And I really like this book because it focuses on one person and just this one specific story and how these policies are affecting her. And it really gets to you. And it's a bit of a tearjerker of a novel but it's really good and it ultimately ends on a good note, a hopeful note. And so if you want to read a book that um, tells you more about a story that's in the headlines right now, then The Vine Basket by Josanne Lavallee is a great book for you.